The table below gives the estimated world population in billions for various years. Okay, so I have year and the population. Tengo los años y el número de uh, personas, el population. And so you can see in 1980, I had 4,400 billion people, okay, etc. Okay, so remember, the first line is going to be X and the second line will be Y. Let's put this in the calculator. Vamos a poner adentro de la calculadora. Okay, so the very first thing that you will do is go ahead and push on. Okay, you're going to do one, no, and then you're going to go ahead and do four for the table, cuatro por la tabla, change A for X, A por X, so make sure you put the X there, and then B for Y. Okay, let's put our one, so one, nine, so for the X, sorry, 1980, 1990, 1997. So let's go ahead and do that. So 1980, 1990, 1997, 2000, 2005, 2011. And go back up. Okay, make sure you're next to 1980. Siguiente de uh, 1980. And then put your numbers, 4,400, 5,100, 5,852, 6,080, 6,450, and 7,000. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do control doc one menu. Six, one, three. X, go down, Y, enter, enter. There we go. All right, so now we're going to do our equation first. So let me go ahead and zoom in here. Our linear regression equation, it will be in the form Y equals MX plus B, slope intercept form. M and B are numbers. M and B son numeros. Y and X are letters. Y y X son letras. So, Y equals, what is M? ¿Cuál es M? 84. I'm going to put all of it. Voy a poner todo. 9102. Okay, put your X. Okay, and then the B is plus. B is negative. Uh, let's see. Um, what's this one? 1637. Seven, six, six. Okay, what's plus minus, guys? Más y menos? Plus minus is minus. Más y menos es menos. So I'm going to erase the plus. Voy a borrar el, meno, el más. Okay, and leave the minus. Okay. Let's see the correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient is R. Correlation coefficient is the regular R. La R regular. So 0 0.998021. Let's go ahead and write that down. R equals 0 0.998021. And now the type, el tipo de correlación. Which number is important here? ¿Cuál número es importante aquí? The number directly after the point. El número directamente después del punto. So it's 9, 9. 0 0.9. 0 0.9. Look in your table, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, that's right here, strong correlation, okay, strong, fuerte. So strong, is this positive or negative, positivo or negativo, positive, so strong, positive correlation. There we go. Let's go ahead and make our predictions now. Using the linear regression equation, predict the world population in the year 2015. Okay, so I need to use my equation. Necesito usar mi ecuación. And I have a number. Tengo un número. Year, año, 2015. Okay, so I have the year, 2015. What letter is year? ¿Cuál letra es año? X or Y? X o Y. Year is X. So X is 2015, and my equation, let's go ahead and copy that down. 
y equals 84.9102 x minus this number. Let me see what number that is. 163,766. Okay, I'm going to change x. Voy a cambiar x because I have a number for x. Porque tengo un número por x for 2015 in parenthesis, adentro de parenthesis. Y equals 84.9102, parenthesis, 2015, copy, minus 163,766. Y equals, go ahead and put that in the calculator, esta parte. I'm going to put 84.9102, parenthesis, 2015, parenthesis, minus 163,766. And I get this number, 7328.05. Okay, what is Y? ¿Cuál es Y? Population. What is population? ¿Cuál es population? People. Personas, people or population. Okay, let's write a sentence. Vamos a escribir una oración. In 2015, it is predicted that there will be a population of, let's write this number. Okay, we're not done because look, porque mira, they said population is in billions, population is in billones. So it's not 4,400 people. No es 4,400 personas. It's 4,400 billion people. Es 4,000 400 billones de personas. So I'm going to just put here billions or billion. Okay? That's as far as I'm going to go. Okay, so in 2015, the prediction is this many people in billions. Okay, en 2015, el predicción es que hay un población de 7,328 billones de personas, okay? Let's go ahead and do our next one. Using the linear regression equation, predict when the world's population will reach 10,000 billion people. Okay, so again, I need to use my equation. Necesito usar mi ecuación. And 10,000 billion people, okay? So I have 10,000 billion And what is that, que es eso? It's the population, es el population. Okay, let me go ahead and color population here. Okay, what is population? ¿Cuál es population? X or Y, X o Y? Y, Y. And we're gonna use the same equation, la misma ecuación. Go ahead and copy that down. Y equals 84.9102X minus 163,766. And I'm going to change Y. Voy a cambiar Y for 10,000, por 10,000. I'm not going to put the comma. No voy a poner el coma, la coma, because I can't put it in the calculator. Porque no puedo poner en la calculadora. Okay, I want the X alone. Quiero la X sola. I will never move the number with the letter. Nunca voy a mover el número con la letra primero. So I will never move this first. So I will move this one. Entonces voy a mover este. The opposite of minus is plus. El opuesto de menos es más. Copy, horizontal. Let's go ahead and put that in the calculator. 
plus 163,766. That is 17,000, no, 173,766. Copy this number down. Circle the letter. This cancels at zero. Now, I have this number with X. Ahora tengo este número con X. They are touching. Están tocando. It's multiply. It's multiplicación. The opposite of multiply is divide. Lo opuesto de multiplicación es división. So divide, copy down. Divide, copy down. This cancels. It's one. Es uno. X equals, let's put that in the calculator. 173,766 divided by this number, 84.9102. Enter. I get this number. This is the number. Okay, and we will switch. Vamos a cambiar. Okay, what is X? ¿Cuál es X? Year, año. So this is the year. Okay. Let's go ahead and answer the question. So the question was, when when will the population be 10,000? So we'll write, um, in the year 2046, in el año 2046, the population will reach 10,000 billion. Okay, so 10,000 billion will be in 2046. In el año 2046, va a ser, um, será 10,000 billones de personas. All right. So let's go ahead and do this on our graph now. Ahora en nuestra gráfica. Let's go ahead and put the points. Uh, first, the titles. Primero los títulos. So X, what's the title for X? ¿Cuál es el título por X? Year. What's the title for Y? ¿Cuál es el título por Y? Population. And a big title, un gran uh, population. We'll just... I mean, un gran título, uh, let's put um, world population, population del mundo, okay? Let's put the numbers here. So 1980, 4,400. So that's a little less than 4,500. 1990, 5,100. So that's going to be like, let's see, right here. 1997, so this is 1990, this is 2000, this is 1995, right? So 1997 would be about right here, 5,852, so that's about right here maybe. 2000, 6,080. 2005, so that would be between 2000 and 2010, entre 2000 y 2010. So this is 2005 right here. 6,450. And 2011, that's a little after 2010. That would be like right here, 7,000. Okay, so something like that, algo así. Now we're going to put our line. Ahora vamos a poner nuestra línea, nuestra línea. Remember the same number up as down, el mismo número arriba de abajo. So I'll do like, maybe something like this. Quizás algo así. So nothing here is perfect. Nada aquí es perfecto. Okay. So let's take a look here. In 2015, the prediction is 7,328. In 2015, este es el predicción. So let's see, 2015, that would be right here. Let's see what we get here. Vamos a ver. The prediction was 7,300. En predicción es más o menos 7,300. 
Yeah, 7,250, that's very close. Es, está muy cerca. Okay, and then here they said the year 2046. My graph is too small. Mi gráfica es demasiado pequeña to see this one. But if I extended it, pero si hago más grande, it's going to be very close. Es muy cerca de 10,000. It's going to be very close to 10,000. 10,